What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to draw Mascot Daryl from Brawl Stars. Now the first thing we want to do is make sure our paper is rotated so it's longer going out towards the side. So let's start at the very top of our page with the top edge of the head. Starting over on the left side, we draw a curve that goes up in the middle and then back down on the right side. Now from the ends we're going to draw two straight lines coming down the side of the head. Let's close off the bottom of the head with a line that extends past the sides. We're going to start out on the left side, draw a straight line going across the bottom and out towards the right. Now for the top corners of the head, we're going to curve out and then up with a short line to add a trim. Go back to the left side, we're going to follow that same curve, going up in the middle and then down on the right. Let's tuck the eye in underneath that trim. We're going to start over on the left side. We're going to draw a half circle, coming down toward the bottom of the eye, and then back up on the right side. Now we're going to trace this out on the inside. Starting on the left, we're going to leave an even space gap all the way around. And then in the center, we're going to draw two straight lines coming down, one on the left, and then one on the right. And then we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Let's fill that area in black. Now let's add in the top of the head. From this point, we're gonna step down and draw a curve that goes out and then up. We're just gonna line up with that bottom line. Let's do the same thing on the right. Lining this up, going out and then up. Now we're gonna connect the left and right side with a curve, going up in the middle and then back down on the right side. Let's go back to the left and round out the top of the head. We're gonna go a little bit higher in the middle Round this out, and then come down on the right. And then we'll separate out the top of the head. From the center, we move over towards the left, and curve out, and then down. Move all the way over towards the right, and do the same thing. Now we're going to move back down and draw the socket for the arms. Starting back on the left, we're going to curve out, and then down. Move over towards the right, and we'll do the same thing. Do the same height. Now let's flatten off the bottom. Go straight out with a short line. And now we'll round out the bottom half of the body. Starting back on the left, we're going to come down and then just bend that in toward the bottom of the body. Let's move over towards the right. We're going to curve in the opposite direction. Coming down and then bending that in towards the same height. And then we'll close off the bottom. Starting back on the left, we're going to draw a straight line going all the way across towards the right. Now we're going to continue working down with the legs, leaving a gap in the center. Let's go to the left side. We're going to curve out and down towards the left heel. Move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, I'm going to curve down and then up towards the toe. And do the same thing on the right side. Let's go back to the left and curve the top of the foot. Starting at the toe, we're going to curve up and just hook that in. And do the same thing on the right, going up and then bending that in. And then we'll move down to the bottom and thicken up the sole. We're going to take this curve, step up from the toe, and just trace that across towards the heel. And I'll go back up to the top. We're going to continue this curve coming all the way down towards the sole. And go back up to the top of the foot, draw a short angle line going up and in both sides and we'll go straight across toward the inside of the leg. I'm going to go back to the outside and draw the tongue of the shoe. Starting out here we draw a half circle. Going up and then down. And do the same thing on the right. And then from the inside of the tongue we draw a straight angle line coming down and out towards the toe cap. And we'll move in and draw a curve coming in and then down towards the sole. And close off the outside leg. Starting on the outside of the tongue, we draw a straight line going up underneath the body. Let's move back up and add that soccer ball pattern to the body. We're going to start in the center at the very top. Start with a straight line going across from left to right. And then from the ends, we're going to angle down and out. 
and we'll pull this down and in towards the center. So let's start on the left. Coming down and then in, and go up and out towards the right. Then go back up to the top. From this point, we're going to angle up and out towards the top of the body on the left and right side. And then from that same point, we're going to angle down and out towards the arm socket. Let's move out to the side, draw a straight line going out. And then back on the left side, we're going to angle up and out towards the outside corner of the arm socket. Let's go back out, come down and out towards the side. And now from the center, we draw a straight line coming all the way down towards the bottom. Now we're going to go up and draw on the shoulder flaps. Starting from the top corner, we're going to draw a curve that goes up and then bend that out. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to draw a short angle line coming down and out towards the sides. And then we'll follow that same curve coming in and down in behind the side of the body. Now we tuck the hinge in between the shoulder and body. So starting at the very top, we'll step in. It's almost like drawing a half circle. Going out, and we'll just pull that in towards that bottom corner. Do the same thing on the right. Going out, and bending that back in. And now we're gonna draw the arm stretched out towards the side. Starting from the top of the hinge, curve down, and then up. Do the same thing on the right. Coming down, and bending that back up. And then we're going to overlap the foam hands on top of the arm. So from here we're going to step up and in, draw a straight angle line coming down towards the bottom. And do the same thing on the right side. Now let's close off the bottom of the arm. From here we're going to step up, we're going to follow that same curve. Coming down, and then up in behind the hinge, and do the same thing on the right. Coming down, and bending that back up. Let's add some lines across the arm. Starting on the outside, curve out and then down. Now we're going to step in, curve back out and then in. Now we're going to go back to the side. Let's start with the thumb. Starting here, we're going to go up and bend that out towards the left. And we want to round out the tip of the thumb. So we're going to go out, and down towards the tip of the thumb, and then pull that back up. Do the same thing on the right. Starting from the top, go up, bend that out. Now we'll round up the thumb and then hook that back in. And we'll draw a small curve for the palm. Starting from the inside of the thumb, go out and then hook that in. And then we'll draw the index finger pointing straight out towards the side. Starting at the top of the thumb, start with a straight angle line going up and out. Round up the finger and then come straight back in towards the side of the thumb. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up and out, round up the finger, and then come straight back in on top of the thumb. And then we're going to fold two fingers on the outside. Starting halfway down the index finger, we're going to draw an oval. Going up, come down and in. Now we're going to tuck that in behind the thumb. Let's do that one more time. Starting from the outside, Go up, down, and then up in behind that finger. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting halfway down the index finger, go up, in, and in behind the thumb. And do that one more time. Let's close off the bottom of the hand. Starting from the bottom edge of the last finger, curve down, and then in. Do the same thing on the right. Coming down, and then in towards the outside of the wrist. Now we want to go back and trace the fingers and the hand along the inside. So let's start with the last finger. We're going to step down. Let's try to leave an even space gap all the way around. Do the same thing on the second finger. And then the index finger. Going all the way up to the tip, around, and then back in. And then we'll trace the hand coming around towards the thumb. So we'll start on the outside. Stepping in, up towards the top, and we'll come around towards the tip of the thumb, and back up. I'm just going to flatten off the inside, and then we'll trace the palm. Coming out and down, 
and then just close off the inside with a straight line. Let's do the exact same thing on the right. Pull this out and up underneath the finger. And that's pretty much it. There's mascot Daryl from Brawl Stars. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your request in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.